there's some fantastic work going across youth development in the EFL and it's good to see that work being highlighted with this initiative this week. I think a lot of football fans out there possibly don't, aren't aware or understand or appreciate the amount of work that goes off in youth development. There's a lot of unsung heroes who you know, dedicate their lives to developing young people to make them better people but also with a, the aim of helping them become professional players and it's nice to see uh, you know, some degree of focus on, on youth development. Here of course and at other clubs they just want to see the, the players on the pitch but as you say it's the backroom team who deserve the credit as well. Yeah, um, obviously players deserve credit for the efforts and the sacrifices that they make and obviously they get a lot of support from their parents and guardians throughout their development pathway but you're right we've got a lot of expertise in youth development in England now um, not just in coaching but in the analysis world and sports science and different disciplines and that has benefited the players and I'm, I'm uh, sure that the level of young player in England at this moment in time has, has really improved. Um, I think if you look at the last 12 months there's been lots of opportunities for the young players um, in training with the first team group but also on match day in the championship in the cup games as well so it's great to see that there's a pathway for young players at Sheffield Wednesday. You see players like Joe and Cammy and Liam for example riding high in the first team now just made 200 first team appearances as well. Yeah that's a great achievement um, as we speak to the young players who've made some first team appearances, the challenge really is to get to 100 first team appearances and, and become established in there so it's, it's a great recognition for Liam and it's great for to have players like that in the first team so the younger ones can, can aspire to reach that level. You know we can do the best work you know, and have a really good development programme but ultimately uh, at some point the players need opportunities as well and you know like I said over the last 12 months in particular we've seen a lot of young players you know get opportunities with the first team squad and realise their dream of making the debut for the club which you did of course and you've got quite a unique story I guess coming through the academy yourself and now heading up the academy. Yeah, yeah I first started training with the club possibly as an eight year old um, obviously a totally different system as to what it is now it was sort of one one day a week training in a sports hall at the stadium um, but signed school by forms at 14 and then joined as an apprentice of the YTS in those days as it was when I left school and I was lucky to progress through to the first team and, and play in the Premier League for the club and you know, it holds really special memories for me. It's a role I'm enjoying, it's, it's demanding, but it's enjoyable. I work with some good staff and, uh, you know, we feel as if we're making progress in, in the quality of player that's coming through the ranks. Does that debut against Liverpool seem some time ago? It does, but I can still remember it and it still gives me goose pimples when you think about it and, you know, obviously to beat Liverpool 1-0 in your home day in front of Pat Tillsbury is, is what dreams, dreams are made of really. But that's something you can show the aspiring scholars of what can be achieved. Absolutely, you know, the young players in our system have got to believe that it's achievable. And you know, you look at the likes of Liam Palm and Joel Alsworth, Cam Dawson, numerous other young players that have played for the first team and it is achievable.